Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's good to see so many friends and partners here today. I'm very fond of Barcelona. I spent quite a long time here in Barcelona early in my career, showing off PC Malibu performance to customers all over Europe. Back then, not too many people had a personal computer. Within a few years, most of people has one. While I was dragging my 25 kilo computers up and down a train across Europe, while exhausted, I started to dream about a small computer that fits into my hand that I could use to call my friends or listen to music. As soon as Windows CE came out, I started HTC with my partners to achieve that dream. We have introduced some of the most advanced and beautiful smartphones since, including the world's first Android phone and the first 4G phone, which won so many best in show awards at Mobile World Congress. It's remarkable to think then no one had a smartphone. Now everyone has one, and we can't live without them. They are with us 24 hours a day, our digital hub, our main connection to our friends and family. Mobile World Congress was also the stage for the global launch of HTC Vive three years ago, when we introduced the world's first room-scale VR. Recently, we have also added to the Vive family a standalone VR in China, Vive Focus, and the world's most premium VR, Vive Pro. Winning over 200 awards globally, Vive is the start of another exciting journey into the future. Vive has a vision. The convergence of technology with humanity will unleash human imagination. When we step into virtual reality, there's a whole new world of experiences that will change our lives. While virtual reality has been around for 50 years, it's a advancement in computing power, mobility, and the interactive technology that is delivering the promise of VR and making it accessible for the first time. HTC Vive has been at the forefront of creating the premium VR experience, raising the bar for content developers to imagine bigger and better. That's why there are over 3,000 content titles today, with many more on the horizon as people realize the potential of this technology. With VR, we can push boundaries with our creativity. We can travel to all corners of the earth and beyond. We can do the impossible. We can convey our feelings to our loved ones exactly as we intended. Total immersion creates a powerful sense of empathy. We can truly put ourselves in the shoes of a refugee, an astronaut, or an Olympic skiers racing down the slope. We can experience what others experience, whether rich or poor, able-bodied or handicapped. As the Chinese philosopher Xin Zi said, seeing is better than hearing, but experiencing is everything. To give you an idea, USA Today recently post a video of a disabled man who went virtually skiing with an HTC Vive. Let's see it together. You made it. You made it so I'm watching. VR is going to be a, a very nice experience for anybody who's handicapped. 
I think it, you know, open new doors. It's just deeply moving to see how Vive allowed him to feel free again. And this is why I believe that Vive is the great equalizer. Anyone can enjoy the same experience. It is truly by the people, for the people, and share with the people. Today, we are creating Vive reality. The convergence of VR, AR, 5G, and AI, where humans interact with virtual and augmented reality environments naturally. Now we are at MWC. Let's look at 5G. Our lives has become so dependent on the internet and connectivity, we can barely imagine life without it. 5G is coming, and with it, will come a whole new era of experiences that will truly revolutionize the way we live, work, and play. Speeds of tens of gigabits per second will be transformational. We'll be able to experience and share great quality content anywhere in real time. 5G is a perfect matching technology for VR and AR. Through real-time edge computing and light-speed data transmission, 5G will massively enlarge VR and AR capabilities by leveraging supercomputing power in the cloud while lowering device power consumption. VR and AR will no longer be constrained to local hardware and storage. Virtual and augmented reality are part of virtuality continuum. They will be combining different proportions in devices in the future, depending on our needs. Color computing over 5G will enable every single VR and AR terminal to be the most powerful device in the world, bringing a more immersive experience than ever. Smartphone will continue to play a vital part in the ecosystem and will be the first step toward 5G for most of us. Smartphones may look different from the shiny rectangles that we know and love today. I think they will also take on other forms as 5G reduces the need for device-based computing power. In the future, the screen may be decoupled away from smartphone and displayed to our VR, AR devices, or even directly project onto our eyes. G will enable the true potential of the Internet of Things with a trillion sensors on 100 billion connected devices, making things work better and good. <laughs> Actually, we're gathering data from all over the world and bringing us to us in no time. This brings me to another essential component of Vive Reality, artificial intelligence. Recent advances in artificial intelligence and machine learning take advantage of increasing data and processing power. Today, we spend significant time understand how gadgets work. In the future, our gadgets will know us, in many cases, better than we know ourselves. AI will truly understand what we need. VR and AR will be the most essential portal to access the power of AI. AI will add intelligence to all machines, devices, and people, just like electricity gives us power. I believe that we will add AI through the network to almost everything. 
AI will be woven into our everyday life. Learning is so important for us, and lifelong learning is becoming vital. With AI, we will be able to personalize lessons by seeking the true needs from each person. At work, AI will help us access all required resources instantly and finish tasks more efficiently. For healthcare, its applications are almost boundless, improving diagnosis, training doctors, recommending treatments, and health plans, and so much more. Using AR and VR as a portal together with AI, we can use all senses and body to experience, learn, and recall. A partner of ours has a technology for sticking together the MRI scans to create a 3D environment for human organs. Helping doctors plan and perform critical surgeries better than ever possible before. What I find so beautiful is how it helps patients understand their illness and make it less scary. A friend of mine, a neurosurgeon, told me about a little girl who had a large cheeky tumor in her brain. She hadn't smiled for a long time, and the strain on her parents was enormous. Two days before the operation, my doctor friend put an HTC Vive on the little girl, and she was transported into her brain. As she walked around her brain, the doctor pointed out the tumor and told her he would remove the tumor from her. When she saw the tumor, she reached out for it, and she tried to grab it and throw it away with a big smile on her face. Her parents, standing beside her, gave a big sigh of relief. All their tiredness from weeks of sleepless night washed away. I'm delighted to say the surgery was successful, and the little girl is happily back at school. It is so important that we harness the power of these disruptive technologies and use it for good. As it says in the Bible, from the one who has been entrusted with much, much more will be asked. That's why we created VR for Impact last year. It's a $10 million initiative to inspire innovators' awareness around the United Nations' sustainable development goals. Experiences that can make us more proactive in helping Humanity solves some of the most difficult challenges facing our world today. Imagine if we come, become a big, beautiful tree in the rainforest, and we are cut down and burned. We can better feel the pain of 50,000 acres of rainforest disappearing every single day, a major factor for global warming. It is only when we take the best of what makes us human and combine it with the latest in technology that we can unleash our imagination and passion and make our dreams come true. Looking back at my personal journey to get here today, from PC motherboards to smartphones to virtual reality, all of our innovations were created with the purpose to benefit the humankind. Friends and partners, let's work together as an industry and as a society. We definitely will create a better world for us and for our future generations. Please join us on this important journey to vibe reality. Thank you very much. Have a great show.